So I was browsing YouTube and I found this clip of this spoiled brat on this totally not staged show. Actually it is staged anyways. It is called What Would You Do? And this girl is at a toy department I think and is staged to basically lie and make her nanny do what she wants. And after this video is posted please don't try to send hate or try to shut down this show mostly because I need YouTube videos anyways. Just watch this clip yourself oh and remember to like and sub for more content. I gotta make a call. You pick something out with Alejandra. Okay, Mom. We'll be fine. Jesus Christ, look at that smile. She looks like if the devil came to life and also looks like a healthy lesbian dressed up like a suspicious man dressed up like a vampire. Totally didn't get that joke from Reddit. So? How about this? Okay, look, Nanny. I already told you. I don't need your help. When I see something I like, I'll let you know. Whatever you want. Whatever you want. Whatever you want. <laughs> Don't be so stupid. I'm the boss. When mom's around, she is the perfect little princess. But when mom's away, a demanding diva comes out to play. No duh. Pint-sized prima donna abuse her babysitter? Or do you stick up for a nanny in need? What would you do? Here comes my mom. You say anything, and I'll get you fired. Everything okay, Alejandra? Oh, we're just great, Mom. I found so many things I like. You're the best for bringing me here. We've taken over the toy box in Colts Neck, New Jersey. Oh my this God. first shopper is nearly frozen in place when she hears Amanda's rude words. Tell my mom to buy me that right now or else I'll have you fired. And do you want that to happen? No, because then you won't get anywhere in life. Amanda. She struggles with what to do. It's true. And then, reluctantly, she speaks up. You're not very nice. That was very mean what she just said to her. I mean, yeah, but she's just a nanny. Yeah, but she's taking care of you. She's looking out for you. And she's got your best interests at heart. Yeah. All right, I have to give Grandma respect for standing up to the demon, but we know how she's acting like. That's why we have ears and eyes for a reason. Sorry, blind and deaf people but we're paying her. It doesn't matter. It's still not very nice to treat her like that. Hellmate. I mean, she's, like, stupid. Like, look at her. Just stand there. Amanda, I think that makes Shut up. You're just a nanny. And you're just a kid. And you should be respectful of your elders. Sorry. I really appreciate it. And now this soft-spoken woman tells the store's manager, who's actually one of our actors, how she's feeling. I'm just I just want that money to be honest I mean I'm broke so if I was that nanny I would slap you grandma cause I need money sorry grandma cheers mate but in all seriousness that girl is just evil and she needs a wire hooked on but now that I think about it she would probably know that there is a wire but they should have the mom seeing this but I know they wouldn't do that because this is a staged show so carry on. She's so deep in conversation that she doesn't see us standing by. And then we step in. Hi, ma'am. How are you? Time for a roast session on Granny. Sorry, had to do this to you, though. <laughs> Look at his lips! <laughs> Bruh. Look at this dude. <laughs> Wait till you see the... <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Top of his head. <laughs> Look at his lips. <laughs> Ta -da. You were very upset, obviously. Yeah. What was going through your mind? I was going to leave and come back to the store later because I was very upset by how she was treating the nanny. You just couldn't take it. Mm -mm. And she was um, telling her that because she was a nanny, she wouldn't become anything, which is not right. We roll again. I don't need your help. I can do it on my own. Um, okay. Um, tell my mom to buy this for me or I'll get you fired easily. 
This woman quietly lends her support directly to our nanny. Is you good like what is you doing up in this business like mind yours like boy don't make me get you I roasted grandma I could do it to you I could end your life right now you know what I'm not gonna do that but I will show that I can do it and show no shame. Vegeta play that click and make sure it's over 9000. Hold this. Yeah, I just don't, I just don't know, like... I wish you would, and why does the nanny look like Pepe? <laughs> I'll, I'll try to be patient. <laughs> yeah. But when Amanda does this... Pick that up. Amanda, you can pick it up yourself. She changes her focus. I think you can pick that up yourself. She gets paid to do stuff. She's the nanny. So. Nice and then she turns her attention to the manager. What is she saying? Yeah, we get it. You said it before. And then finally tells our mom what she saw. Oh, you can. She dropped something on the floor. She Who did the nanny? No, your daughter. And she said, "Pick it up. That's your job." <laughs> get you fired. Wait. Before anyone gets fired, time for us to step in. Hi there. Oh my goodness. <laughs> They were actors. Oh my god. I'm just like, oh my god. I don't know what to do. I just felt terrible for the nanny. I just I kept thinking, oh my god. I'm glad this was. What would you do? <laughs> Look, I don't need your help. This mom shopping with her kids keeps a close watch on what's happening. She looks like a mad soccer mom. Happening. I keep on telling you this. I'm fine by myself. You do your thing and I'll do mine. When mom returns, Hi, mom. and the nanny walks away, Amanda tells a different story about what happened. Oh my god, the nanny was so mean to me, mom. What? She was so rude. She's not nice. I don't like her. And now the customer can't stay quiet. She's insane. Like, that's crazy. She would say that about her. Like, what was she saying? She's like really mean to the nanny. She just told me that the nanny was being mean to her. No. Amanda? Alejandra? Can you tell me what she's saying? Because I'm, I just, I want to know. Before she's out the door, we catch up with her. I'm John Quinones. And that's why I was like pacing the store. They had already looked around the store. So what were you waiting for? An opportunity to say something? Kind of, yeah. I mean, I felt that I needed to tell the parent, you know, that her daughter was being a certain way. You know, I can see in her face she's like, Oh my gosh, like, why is she talking to her like that the whole time? That's why I was, I was pacing, I'm like, this is crazy. And then this woman enters. She's also- She looks like the villain from the Minions, like at this point, I'm just gonna roast everyone at this point, but he'll stop talking or the bot will stop talking. So shopping with her kids and talking on the phone. Do you want to get one of those, or? I can pick out my own things. I don't need your help. So initially, Amanda's ugly words seem to go unnoticed. Why don't you understand? I'm the boss. You're just the nanny. You don't mean anything to me. Just stop following me. I can get you fired if you don't do what I tell you to do. So I don't think you would want that to happen. Well, I mean, she's just the nanny. But that's not... I love how the kids are just standing in the background doing nothing. Nice. She's a person. She's a person. She has feelings. You have feelings too, don't you? Mm hmm And imagine if somebody said that to you, that would hurt your feelings, wouldn't it? And she can't Her job is to get me things, though. It's not, not to like do is. anything. Her job is to take care of you, not to just get you things. That's not nice. With her own children listening and looking on, the customer continues, trying to teach the little diva to be a better person. I'm telling you, I'm a mommy, and if my if my daughter talked like that to someone that was taking care of her, I would be very, very upset with her. I would be very disappointed. But it's not nice. 
I mean, be a nice person. You want people to be nice to you? Mm -hmm. You want nice things in life? You need to be nice to people. <laughs> and even when Amanda talks back to the sympathetic shopper... She's my nanny. You should mind your business. She puts our little girl in her place. You need to be respectful to your elders. That's what you need to learn. I'm a grown person. You're a little girl. She's a grown woman. You don't talk to your elders that way. Ma'am? Hi, I'm John Quinones. Oh <laughs> my goodness. Are you serious? Yes, they're actors. Oh my, I'm gonna cry right now. I was so upset, I was on the phone with one of my friends and I heard her speaking like that. You hung up. And I hung up, I'm like, I gotta go. I'm like, I can't. I'm like, she's a person. I'm like, that's not nice. I looked at the nanny and she had tears in her eyes and I just felt like, you know, we live in a world with so many horrible things that go on and this was a, a child that was talking that way and it's scary. The message that I try to teach my children is just to, you know, to be polite and to have manners and, you know, to work for well, what that we concludes have. today's episode and I know I didn't upload yesterday but that's because I need one day to edit and gather videos and then the next day I upload but anyways remember to like, subscribe and comment it really helps a lot even if it's hate cause I really don't care what people say if they hate then their mom will get our EKT anyways go check out the original video in the description and as always I will see you later as in two days.